Hello and welcome back. We now take an example from permutation. The question is if n p three equal to sixty, find the value for n. So let's see. N p three is equal to sixty. Now n p three could be written directly as n. Into n minus one, into n minus two, is equal to sixty. Since you have a three over here, so we write n starting with n. We write three terms in descending order. So n, n minus one, n minus two, equal to sixty. Now on the right hand side, we could factorize sixty. In the following manner, so the left hand side remains the same. On the right hand side, sixty could be factorized as five into four into three. Now, if you observe the left hand side, here we have three factors with a difference of one. Here also we have three factors with a difference of one. Here the terms are in descending order. Here as well the terms are in descending order. So we have the same kind of arrangement on both the sides. So therefore we could easily obtain the value for n by comparison. So we compare both the sides and we obtain the value of n as. Now we equate the first term with the first term. Or second with the second, or third with the third. In all cases, we are going to get the answer as n equal to five. So this is the required value for n. Now, even if you equate n minus one equal to four, here again you will get n equal to five. Or if we equate the third factors, that is n minus two equal to three, again. The result would be n equal to five. So the final answer is n equal to five, and the option is B. Like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.